pathology organization in the Americas to implement artificial intelligence in routine clinical practice. Today, Dr. Juan Carlos Santa Rosario will share the implementation and results of over 2,500 prostate needle core biopsies utilizing the Galen's second read application developed by Ibex Medical Analytics. This is a first in a series of insights from Dr. Santa Rosario. Hi, my name is Dr. Juan Santa Rosario. I'm the medical director for Core Plus. I'm a pathologist with over 10 years experience in the field. And today I would like to show you uh, our transformation uh, into a digital pathology laboratory and the use of artificial intelligence to detect crack cancer in prostate tissues. As you can see here in, in my screen, uh, we're looking at a, at a prostate uh, core needle biopsy. And the way we've incorporated the artificial intelligence is uh, for us to be able to better detect and increase the accuracy at detection of cancer. Um, the way the algorithm works, it will show you with heat maps, the areas where the tumor is. And as you can see here in this, um, in this tissue, you can see this uh, glandular tumor here and the heat map really highlights where the tumor is located. The algorithm, algorithm not only detects cancer, but also other clinically important features uh, like perineural invasion, high-grade pin, and, and other uh, things of interest uh, to, to diagnose and, and to manage the patient. Um, we uh, so far have been able to analyze over 35,000 uh, slides since uh, June of, of 2020, where, when we started using this uh, algorithm routinely in our, in our daily practice. And we, we have shown uh, that uh, uh, as of now, we have uh, over um, uh, uh, almost 2% uh, of our reports have been uh, revised. And uh, this has shown to be very useful uh, at decreasing diagnostic errors for us and we feel that this technology has the, the, the power to really improve patient care and, and diagnostics and um, so far the cases that we have been able to uh, detect with the algorithm uh, we have we have seen that uh, in our case we have seen uh, almost uh, 52 cases that have been revised of those cases uh, 42 uh, percent uh, of those were uh, di diagnosed originally as benign, but uh, in fact they had cancer in in the tissue. Um, all of the all of those uh, cancers were grade group one uh, kind of tumors, and um, the average tumor size for those uh, cancer was cancers were um, 0.75 millimeters. Um, so this is just to show you that we we are. Uh, successfully deploying uh, this technology and we're gathering the information to, to better understand how we can improve patient care uh, with it. Um, we were able to do this uh, in, in our laboratory because we transformed the whole workflow where we have uh, more efficient tissue processors for better turnaround time. We also uh, implemented a, a, a better microtomy process to better fit the tissues to the slide as well as uh, the whole slide imaging scanners that can transform the glass slide to the digital image that you're, you're seeing here in, in my screen. And we, uh, like I said, feel this is uh, a moment in not just pathology, but medicine where it's been uh, completely transformed. And we are we're proud to be offering this to our, our clients and our patients. And I thank you for your attention. Improved patient outcomes, improved accuracy, improved efficiency. Be the first to incorporate prostate cancer artificial intelligence in your practice.